So now that my trailer is mostly set up on the inside, still quite a bit to do, but uh, my wife's going on a trip here pretty quick, so I got her a solar panel kit. I've already pulled it out of the box. I bought this Renology kit. It's a 55 watt panel. So here's the uh, here's a little panel here. I'm just going to put some legs on it so that I can put it, set it out in the sun to get the proper solar on it. And then I bought. It, it came with some connectors to connect the panel to the charge controller. And then I bought a couple of uh, extending cables for the panel so that I could put it away from the trailer. A lot of people mount this on top of your trailer and that's all well and good, but then you have to park in the sun and I don't have to park in the sun. So I bought cables so I could put it out further out and I'll just make a little plug on the side of my uh, tongue box where I'm gonna put all my electrical and I'll just be able to take the panel out, set it in the sun, plug it in, it'll be good to go. So hopefully this 55 watt panel will be enough to run my charging needs. If not, the charge controller says it can handle uh, more than one panel. And, uh, so here I've got my solar panel. Like I showed you earlier, I think I said it was a 55 watt, but it's actually a 50. Not a big deal. But uh, what I want to do is I want to put a leg on the back so that I can put the leg down and then lean the solar panel against it and it will hold it up at the right angle for the sun. So in order to do that, I want to attach my leg because I don't want this flopping over. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to take this hinge here. It's just a gate hinge with a flat top here with a three pin flat top. And then this, this part is supposed to go out to the gate. And I'm going to drill an extra hole here. I'll use this hole and I'll drill an extra one up here and I'll attach the PVC pipe to that. And then this will go right here in the center. There's even a hole already drilled there nicely. I'll just do the other two holes. And then this is where the leg will attach. The leg is a little long right now, but you can see it, it fits inside this PVC frame. So I'll be able to fold it down and have it flush basically with the frame and then I could take this this frame and I could put it behind the seat or whatever I need to do uh, when I'm not in when it's not in use and then I could take it outside stretch the leg out and stand it up in the sun I'll probably put a little rope that goes between these two so I can adjust the angle and get the uh, the, the panel at the right angle for the sun Now you can see I've got this hinge bolted on here with just the one bolt right now just to see how it fits and then I've got the leg out how I want it. So I'll be able to just do this and adjust the height of my or the angle of my solar panel. It's pretty sweet. So now I'm going to put the other two screws up here. Need another two screws in here just to make sure it's strong. I'm going to use these self-drilling screws because it makes life easy. If you use these self-drilling screws and something like this, make sure they're not so long that they come forward and break your panel, because they'll go straight through and crack your panel. And make sure you don't get them too tight, because if you get them too tight in this thin material, it'll just blow the threads out and you'll, it won't work anymore. So there I've got that. And now all I really need is my rope support to hold this at this point. So I'm gonna go grab a chunk of uh, paracord, drill a hole here where I want it, and uh, then I'll be able to adjust the length on this. So over the years of my collecting and building of stuff, I've stripped down a lot of backpacks and things like that. The zippers go bad or they get a hole in them and so we're going to throw them away and I pull all the buckles and, and that sort of thing off because I could use them again in the future when I do a sewing project or something like that. So this toggle up is what I'm going to use for this project. I just went to my bag of uh, or my little box full of toggles and plastic stuff from backpacks and bags and I pulled this one out. So what I've done is I've used the hole that they already had in this panel and I've run my paracord through that hole. So I'm just going to take that piece of paracord and I've drilled a hole in my pipe here. It's got some burrs in it. And I'm going to just run my paracord through that. Like there. And then I'm going to take this toggle and stick it on the end of that. And it's not the best grip, but it's enough to hold it still um, and do my job. So that I, now I can just kind of adjust the length for it and it'll mostly hold it where I want it to be. So if I want a really steep angle on it, I could just move my, my toggle out and change the angle just like that. So that'll work for that. We've got plenty of extra cord and uh, I've got a solar panel mount. 
That goes back to there. Just tuck this back into the frame. That tucks in. No problem.